Good morning, good morning. So I hope everybody's had a fantastic weekend. And I bet you some of you who are old graph or wow coin or stacks are in in the money in the moment and with fet as well ai coin but yeah so i hope everybody's had a fantastic weekend so we're just going to cover generally today a little bit about the general market and around chronos and cro2 so yeah i just hope everybody's had a great week it's never weekends i find are always a bit flat and a bit nothing really going on and you might get some ults uh popping off but i can remember on the last bull market uh you'll get like at the weekends when it was really getting to that peak of the bull market at weekends did not slow down at all it was like those coins popping off left right and center but at the moment as we all know that it's yeah it's just the retail I just haven't come back it's at the moment it's just institutionals that are buying with this bitcoin etfs and now we've got news about the ethereum etfs and we're getting just on the odd coins popping off on the alt section but as a moment we could go and see here that bitcoin you know we had people not long ago saying right we're going down to 48 47 46 thousand dollars well that hasn't happened we're still sitting above fifty two thousand dollars which is absolutely a bonus and also we've got 1.95 trillion dollars in market cap for the whole market that is and we're looking pretty good and we've got the fee and greed, 75. It's gone up from uh, last month at 52 and we're rising now to 75. So I don't know. Are we going to get a pullback? Are we, are we going to go down to that $48,000? Let me know in the comments down below. Are we going to go down to that $48,000 as some people are still calling for? But at the moment, or are we going to go to $60? $60, $60,000 in the coming weeks? It, you know, you just don't know. It's like, for one, I'm not a trader anyway. So whatever happens, if we drop down to 48, I've got a little bit of dry powder, so I'll buy a little bit more. But if we don't, I'm, I'm happy with the bags I've got at the moment with all the CRO I've accumulated over this bear market. Uh, but we can see Bitcoin at the moment, if you just go to not the five minutes, but we go to that four hourly here uh, and we can see we're just in that wedge at the moment. So we've got the uh, price action concepts at the moment and we're just trying to get above the bears are just holding the line at the moment, but the bulls are trying to push us through. We've got more chances of the bulls pushing through and the bears holding at the moment. You can see here the green and the red at the moment. So we've got more chance of like the basically, yeah, of the bulls pushing through. But we have got that little bit of resistance at the moment. But with a target here of around about, if we push it down here, we've got a target of $54,000. But also, if we push down to the downside, down to this price action concept, we could go down to that $48,000. But do not forget today, we've got the markets in the US, which are closed for the bank holidays there. So they're back open tomorrow. So volume, volatility might not be as much. And we can see here as well on the volume that we've sort of, over the weekend, we've sort of come down from Friday, we've come down, and at the moment, the volume is still fairly low. So if you are trading at the moment, just be careful. You know, we could get pump, pumps to the upside and down, and a lot of drops down to the downside. So just be aware of that. But overall, Bitcoin is holding that line. Pretty cool, to be honest with you. And then we on documents, remember this, this is the retail at the moment. Not, nobody in that, and I mean, that's the meeting room when Bitcoin was only at $100. The room is empty, and it's only like people like me and you are in here at the moment with the yeah, obviously with the institutions, but like you know, but the retail will come back at some point. I'm pretty sure it won't be long once Bitcoin starts pushing up even further. The retail will start FOMOing in, and that's going to be good for us because that's going to start pushing up the prices. And we'll get hopefully, we're not far away also from getting that alt season because as we can see here, Bitcoin dominance at the moment is sort of topped out again, it's starting to come back down. And does that mean? We're going to start to get as bitcoin starts leveling off and we start get the dominance come down does that mean then we're going to start to see more alts start popping off because we know who is getting fomo at the moment and we can see this uh, on the documents here we've got the obviously the black rocks and arc uh, which are all with the bitcoin etfs but now we want to basically we're getting to see a lot of the banks sending letters in now to Gary Genser, because they want a bit of the pack. They see what's happening with Bitcoin ETFs. They see those inflows that are coming in, and they now 
all want a part of that pie and now they're getting desperate and they're now starting to put pressure on Gary Gensler to allow them to get more exposure to Bitcoin. And this is going to be absolutely bullish because at the end of the day, what's been happening is, hence why it's sort of been really low on volatility for Bitcoin over the weekend, is because, and, and, and of today as well, is because those ETF inflows are not quite, because obviously crypto is 24 hours a day, 365 days a week, banks don't work like that. Uh, and obviously the traditional markets don't work like that. They're Monday to Friday. They have the bank holidays, like say crypto trades 24 seven. So volume's down at the moment, but obviously tomorrow, things will change uh in that so yeah expect like more volatility to come in from tomorrow uh in, in u.s time so yeah lots going on banks are really are getting fomo at the moment which is great to see for us because if all of us that have been accumulating over this bear market you know a lot of us are all in profit you know which is really really mega good to see but also don't forget we're getting like the bitcoin uh not the bitcoin should i say the Ethereum ETF news coming out. We've got Ethereum sitting at around about, I think it's around about $2,900, trying to get to that $3,000 mark. But are we going to get this ETF in March? We have got like a lot of like ARC and um, who are basically uh, resubmitting their applications. They're having to make amendments to this. But we've got the Blue Big Analysis, James Sefat, who's basically saying the likelihood of March. He thinks it's not going to happen. We're getting a lot of people. Some people are saying, yeah, we think we'll go get it. They're putting these uh, amendments in, uh, Arcus and such, and all the others like BlackRock, putting those amendments in. Uh, and he, But he still thinks the chances in March getting that uh, e ETF for Ethereum is probably not going to happen. But, you know, I'd rather it get re re not rejected. I hope you know, get those amendments in and they delay it. I, I don't mind the delays. You know, as long as we can get that Ethereum ETF, will be absolutely uh, mind-blowing because I've been holding Ethereum since uh, I've been buying it when it was $96. $96, yeah, we're at $2,900. In the bull market, last was went up to about $4,000. Did take some profit, but I still hold a lot of Ethereum. Uh, and like I said, I hold it from $96 which is not bad at all. I'm not grumbling at that. So, but yeah, so hopefully, if we're not, hopefully we're just going to get a sort of delay on the Ethereum. Obviously, if we get it, get it in March, that's going to be absolutely amazing. But if, you know, if we get delays, we get delays, you know, but I'm hoping we get that Ethereum ETF at some point. So let's crack on to Kronos. Yeah, so we can see CRO at the moment. We're back above that nine cents mark. I just want us to get back up to that 12 pence mark. That's where I want it. It's where we hit it uh, a few months back. Uh, and ever since, it's just been slightly going, just hovering around that eight cents, nine cents, uh, 10 pence mark. And we've just been hovering around those kind of areas. But when when we get this old season command, expect Kronos CRO to explode and he will do and you get you get the naysayers just ignore them ignore the naysayers look I've been accumulating for a long long time CRO and uh yeah it's just been over a year since I've been making yeah just under a year since I've been making uh videos so but yeah it's I've been making you know I started making the videos in the bear market but yes CRO I'm really positive I really do think you know we're going to get to that one dollar I really do that one dollar is a golden ticket for me and then basically one dollar fifty two dollars and even potentially three dollars it all depends on where I really do think of where Bitcoin goes obviously where Bitcoin goes all the rest follow but you know it's really exciting because obviously We've got that bullish news regarding, you know, with Crypto.com and in, in the Hong Kong. I did the video the other day. But if we get this license for Hong Kong, and we're the first to get the uh, the license for Hong Kong, that's going to be absolutely amazing for the Crypto.com business and for the CRO holders as well, because that is going to really push us through, get us through, get us through that wall of uh, 12 pence. And we could that it, we could be on the way up. Really, really could rock it up if we get this approval for this license. So we've got my fingers and toes crossed for Crypto.com to get that license. Even if we're not the first ones, but we get that license, it's going to be great for the inflows 
into get new users into crypto.com as well like and yeah it's going to be really good for the cro token as well and like like you like said you know in the moment we've got the you know rather the chronos chain we're at 15 it's not great to say going from 10 to 15 it is what it is but you just got to bear in mind with the chronos it's a young chain it's it's like you know from november 2021 it's a young chain they are building and you, you know you've got a total volume lock here of 351 million and obviously what you've got people like um like ken and who's trying to basically get more more people into the chronos ecosystem and then we've also got like you know we've got that vote the other week which is uh now get 98 percent to get that apr up because at the end of the day we sort of see that apr dropping down we don't want it dropped down we want it to go up and now obviously we've got that vote that obviously is going to help to get that apr back up and you know that's going to get more people into the chronos chain and the chronos ecosystem as well like but we can see here pamper crow is on twitter give them a follow you know we've got here we've got minting network first trading competition is heating up you know we've got a crow schools announced season seven and a retirement for pets under rank 500 to level 10 for the first amulet we've got board candy city candy melon demo is live we've got loaded lines uh we've got like basically a blitz event starting with thousands of competitive players and price pool of over 200,000 cro bellies nft legend uh, packs all sold out tectonic receives a grant from piff network atlantis bank arc and proto is live so, so lots and lots and lots of things going on and then lots of things we, we want lots of things going on and we want that aprs to go up as well to get more users in there as well we just want more people to build on that chronos ecosystem and i'm sure it's coming it's coming slowly but surely and when it does it will explode it will get back up to that top 10 mark mark my words of that i have every confidence with the chronos team uh, what they're doing and what they were building you know because so we've got ken here you always give ken a follow he's on there and he said it's great to see partnerships like this one between vino and Faro. uh you know with the default yield in, uh, in, 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 i can't get my word out innovation on the chronos and we can see here at 20.62 percent so you know if you're staking your cro that's what you're getting that isn't bad at all so it's worth just checking that out as well. But like Ken is working to get that Kronos building and get, get that momentum going and that. And the men, momentum is going uh, and that. It just takes time. You just got to be patient. And, uh, you know, and I always say people in, just in crypto are very impatient. Things do take time and it will happen. A lot of things are happening. And like I said, you can't crumble about crypto.com and what they're doing either. So extremely bullish. Crypto.com. So mega bullish on our Kronos ecosystem, mega bullish again. I think that one dollar is going to come. It will come sooner rather than later. And I really think two dollars to three dollars is going to come up when everything really starts to explode and you start to get those all retail coming back and FOMOing in. What are they going to see? Crypto.com because of all their all, all their sponsorships they've got from the from the arena to UFC to F1 to football. You know, it's all there. It's all in front of all those retail investors, potential retail investors out there. So I'm not worried. I'm really positive, really mega bullish. You're going to get the naysayers. It is what it is. So I hope everybody has a great week. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. It's always much appreciated. And I will see you soon in the next video. Stay bullish.